Talk of the Town. I'm Robin Zimmerman, along with my guest, Erin Hall. She's a Chief Development Officer for Hopeful Horizons and an old friend. Used to be with the March of Dimes. We met in Columbia, South Carolina. Good to see you again. It's great yeah. to see you, too. Except you have a little something going I, on I with do. your... I um, do. <laughs> I'm going to blame the seasonal pollen for... <laughs> A trip and a fall and a broken wrist. I know, but you're doing well. I yeah. am. I'm All right. Ready. So April is Child Abuse and Sexual Assault Awareness Month. So before we get into an event that you're going to have mm -hmm. on April the 5th, Erin, let's talk a little bit about Hopeful Horizons and the services you provide for the community and for the victims and so forth. Sure. So we served about 1,200 victims and survivors last year and we offer free services right. for victims of child abuse, domestic violence, and sexual assault. Mm -hmm. And this is for the five county area, okay. so not just Beaufort. Is it, do people know that you're there? I mean, it, and, and again, self-identifying, I need help, or is it someone else says, you know, there's Hopeful Horizons and maybe they can, you know, can talk, can talk with you, and I know that there's all kinds of programs and therapy and so forth. I think one of our biggest referral sources is word of mouth. Okay. So one survivor tells another survivor. I see. Yes. And just, I'm just curious, mm -hmm. from your experience with Hopeful Horizons and this issue, um, is it cyclical? I mean, I've heard that it's, you know, if you've been abused, you, that kind of is behavior. I used to actually work in the prison system and mm -hmm. I, I knew that mm -hmm. if you were a victim of sexual assault or, or child abuse, then your propensity, yes, unless the yes. chain is broken, is to do it to others. You, you are absolutely right. Statistically, mm -hmm. it is more likely to happen again. And so one of the things that we work on at Hopeful Horizons is breaking that cycle. Right. And so talk about your team. Is it a, do you have a big staff? Is there... We do. We do have a big staff of about 50 people. Oh my gosh. Yes. I had no but idea. But <laughs> when you cover five counties. That's right. And we have a shelter. Okay. So our shelter is for um, yeah. individuals and their children who are the, fleeing violence. Oh wow! And it's staffed twenty four seven. And do you does your team go out to these various counties and do their work yes. instead of people coming always coming into you because you're in Bluffton, correct? Right. So our main office is in Beaufort, yeah. and then okay. we have our shelter. My office is actually in Bluffton, and right. then we also have an office in Walterboro. Okay. So we go out in the community. We right. also, people come to our offices and we still do uh, remote or you okay. know, hybrid yep. virtual therapy. Perfect. So that's still an option. All right. April 5th. April 5th. Take Back 5th. the Night. So talk about this. USCB campus yes. in Bluffton. Yes. So Take Back the Night is a national event that happens around communities mm -hmm. all over and it is to honor survivors of sexual assault. So it is a very meaningful evening. Mm -hmm. We will have individuals sharing their story, talking about the help that they received at Hopeful Horizons and encouraging others to come forward and share their story or get help right. or whatever they need. So is it like, I'm visualizing, I know you mm -hmm. said it's like six o'clock at night. Right. So I'm visualizing, is it outside like a rally type thing? Yes, it is like a rally. So okay. it'll be outside the library at the USC okay. Beaufort right. Bluffton campus. Right. Um, right. And we'll have, you know, a lot of information about Hopeful Horizons there and several speakers. And we're just, we're honestly really excited to be able to do it at USC Beaufort be yeah. because, um, college students right. know about sexual assault firsthand. And yes. this is a really good way for us to raise awareness. Right. And so um, are you, have you, is this a first time at USAB? It, it is. Okay. We've done this event for a long time, okay. but it's our first time doing it at USCB. And so what are your, what do you hope to, what is your, you know, ultimate goal in that, that night? What you do you know, hope to accomplish? I think our ultimate goal is that Someone who comes to this rally is going to hear a story mm -hmm. that empowers them mm -hmm. to ask for help right. and heal. Right. And there's so many that don't ask for help, right? Yes. And, and it's that's un just, it's just, very underreported. Right. It's a difficult conversation. Think, right. And it's also very difficult to ask for help, to say, 
I don't know if I can do this journey by myself. And Hopeful Horizons is for children and adults, is that correct? Yes, all ages. All right. Thank you, Erin. Our time Thank is up. You. I appreciate you. Good so, to see you, sweetie. So good to see you too, my dear. Erin <laughs> Hall with Hopeful Horizons. Again, take back the night on April the 5th. Be there.